Accelerating Shift, Nextech catalyzes e-commerce transition to 3D AI and AR technologies. So I truly believe that both 3D technology and obviously AI are going to be a huge part of online marketing, and one of the companies that's continuing to make strides in this space is Nextech. Hopefully they can get their stock price back up though and eventually become a profitable company because their performance has been absolutely abysmal. <laughs> But I have no doubt that this kind of technology that they're building will eventually be used in the near future on a much wider scale across the internet, where 3D models will eventually replace 2D JPEGs and PNG product images on websites. So if you want to view your squirrel finger puppet, pickle cotton candy, and dehydrated water in a full 3D environment, you'll eventually be able to. Nextech is also one of the current pioneers in 3D and AR technologies as a whole, having found themselves at the edge of transforming the e-commerce shopping experience. And as online shopping continues to evolve, Nextech's AI technology is slowly transforming how consumers interact with their products. So if we take a step back and look at 3D and AR transformation in e-commerce as a whole, the e-commerce industry is currently witnessing a paradigm shift when it comes to the integration of 3D and AR technologies. And what this means is, these kinds of innovations are redefining the online shopping experience by offering consumers a more engaging and realistic way to view products. And most recently, Amazon discontinued their use of their 360 spin experience and are now leaning more towards robust 3D and AR technologies. In fact, at this year's AWE USA 2024 conference, there are presentations related to 3D and AR and building 3D models more efficiently. Now, in case you're wondering, AWE stands for Augmented World Expo, and is a major expo that took place in Long Beach, California this year, showing advancements in augmented reality, virtual reality, and mixed reality technologies. And NextSec in particular was excited about the Unlock the Future of Shopping presentation and rendering believable 3D assets for e-commerce. Furthermore, as the web shifts towards more 3D and AR assets, it seems like NextSec is pretty well positioned to take advantage of this shift, with the key benefits of their technology including things like advanced product visualization, improved customer engagement, reduced return rates, and even more personalized shopping experiences. And Nextech's role in the e-commerce transformation will be offering these four important things. Number one, state-of-the-art 3D modeling, where they can create hyper-realistic 3D models that can be easily integrated into e-commerce platforms. Two, seamless AR integration, enabling customers to visualize products in their own spaces using their smartphones. 3. AI-driven content creation, where AI-powered tools streamline the creation of 3D and AR content, making it accessible and cost-effective for businesses of any size. And 4. Customizable AR applications, where Nextech will offer bespoke AR applications that are specific to the unique needs of each retailer. These applications can be things like virtual showrooms, interactive product demonstrations, and personalized recommendations. So everything on the horizon is looking good for Next Tech, except their damn stock. Honestly, at this point, they really need to focus on their finances and their business. So if you want to understand their finances better, and one of the more recent things that they did in regards to their money, check out this next video right here. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you next time.